What, uh, we got about nine minutes. We got time for this. This is uh, Dylan Thomas, which you may remember is from uh, his Child's Christmas in Wales. Bags of moist and many colored jelly babies and a folded flag and a fleeced nose and a train conductor's cap and a machine that punched tickets and rang a bell. Once by mistake that no one could explain a little hatchet and a celluloid duck that made when you pressed it a most unduck-like sound. A mewing moo that an ambitious cat might make who wished to be a cow. And a painting book in which I could make the grass, the trees, the sea and the animals, any color I pleased. And still the dazzling sky blue sheep are grazing in the red fields under their rainbow billed pea green birds. Hard-boiled, hard boiled toffee, fudge, and all sorts of crunches and cracknels and humbugs and glaciers and marzipan and butter Welsh, for the Welsh, and troops of bright tin soldiers who, if they could not fight, could always run, and snakes and families and happy ladders and easy, easy for Leonardo and a whistle to make the dogs bark to wake up the old man next door to make him beat on a wall with his stick to shake our pictures off the wall and a packet of cigarettes you put one in your mouth and you stood at the corner of the street and you waited for hours in vain for an old lady to scold you for smoking a cigarette and then with a smirk you ate it Dylan Tom uh, this is for all you vegetarians uh, uh, their vegetarian delight we call it and it's called it's a uh, 1521 Carol from, uh, don't remember the melody, it's been so long. It's called Bringing in the Boar's Head, that's the traditional Christmas uh, delight. Mm. The boar's head and hand bring with garlands gay and rosemary. I pray you all sing merrily. The boar's head, I understand, is the chief service in the land. Look wherever it be found. Be glad, lords, both more and less, for this hath ordained our steward to cheer you all this Christmas, the boar's head with mustard, m mustard. Let this boar's head and mustard stand for pig, goose, and custard, and so you are welcome all, including the, see the boar is so happy. Can we get him? He's Just, so happy yeah. to be part of the party. Look, he's laughing. <laughs> Next, we have an illustration. Oh, oh yeah, for the uh, Yule log, right? No, no, that's. Oh no, uh, no, we just we have had two more. We had an yeah, illustration. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is. I'll let me read it to you. It yeah. says it's suggestions for a different kind of Christmas, and it says uh, make a rubber stamp which reads open somebody's mind for Christmas, Christmas and stamp it on all your mail. Yeah. Open somebody's <laughs> mind, not their pocketbook, you stupid. Uh, yeah, you know. You know who you are. You, you, you're next. Oh, I'm next. Uh, yeah. This is by Unknown. He writes a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> they were all looking for a king to slay their foes and lift them high. Then came a little baby thing that made a woman cry. All right. Now the illustration. Now, this is, uh, goes back to some of our illustrious history, uh, the slave era. Creole slaves were released from work as long as the Yule log burned. Here's the Yule log. Oh, Keep reading. oh yeah, go. Keep okay. reading. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and a longer lasting. No, no. I'm sorry. You know, there we go. Uh, Start all over. That one? No. One? That the one? red. The red. The red one. All right, we'll get it. Okay, we got it. All right. Uh, a longer lasting fire was arranged by selecting the biggest and greenest log available. And in addition, work done while the fire was burning had to be bought with hard cash. All right. They actually you, had you, them. you. It's not that they didn't make them stop working, but they had to actually pay them for the work at that <laughs> point. So. Well, someone. Yeah, we got about four minutes. 
Four minutes? Yep. All right, I think maybe we'll go to the end poem. Yeah, and okay. this is by... You're doing this one, right? Yeah, this okay. is by uh, Thomas Hardy, and there's a line here about a Barton in Yonder Coombe, that's South English, was he in Sussex? Um, he was a country boy. And a Barton by Yonder Coombe means the farm in the, in the little valley. And it's called the Oxen. Christmas Eve and twelve of the clock. Now they are all on their knees, an elder said as we sat in a flock. By the embers in hearthside ease, we pictured the meek, mild creatures where they dwelt in their strawy pen. Nor did it occur to one of us there to doubt they were kneeling then. So fair a fancy few would weave in these years. Yet I feel if someone said on Christmas Eve, come see the oxen kneel in the lonely barton by yonder coom. Our childhood used to know. I should go with him in the gloom, hoping it might be so. We still have, uh, still have a couple time. minutes. Here's yeah. something from Thomas Carlyle. Oh, yeah. If Jesus Christ were to come today, people wouldn't even crucify him. They'd ask him to dinner and hear what he had to say and make fun of it. Ah, uh, dear friends. As years go on and heads get gray, how fast the guests do go. Touch hands, touch hands with those that stay. Strong hands to weak, old hands to young. Around the Christmas board, touch hands. Old Adirondack Murray said that around the turn of the last century. And as we head into the, yeah, yeah, I got all them, man. as we head into the last century, I mean the next century, um, don't do what, don't 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 arrest Santa, no, not anymore. Give him a shot, and uh, let us give Santa a break today. And uh, and here you go. Uh, when you're out caroling, Tilt on when you, you've got to really, you know, pick and choose your Christmas. And, you know, I saw Ooh. mommy fuck, I saw mommy fucking Santa Claus. Okay. But look, up here, you want to avoid this. There's the good Christmas and then, what the hell? Oh, Blowing his I nose. saw one in the, the Industrial Museum in Manchester of uh, someone throwing slops on street musicians. So don't do that. That's not a very nice thing to do, especially not on Christmas. And have a happy uh, uh, Hanukkah, but don't cut off the end of the penis of your sons. It's not worth a war. It's not worth That's anything. Right. Happy Saturnalia.